Hey guys, uh, Tutorial Dude here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make your own ringtones for your iPhone. And um, this only works if you have an iPhone. So if you have any other phone, this tutorial is not for you. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so obviously the first thing you want to do is pick a song you like song that makes you happy, song you'd like to hear when your phone rings. So I've just created an, an example file. So first thing you want to do once you have your song picked is right click the song on iTunes, go down to create AAC version, and it'll take a little, it'll take like a little bit long because it's probably a long song. Okay, and once that's done, click the click the second version that you made. Right click it. Go down to get info. You'll see these tabs at the top. Go ahead and click options. And if you go down, you'll see the start time and the stop time. So, um, for sake of example, I'm just going to start the song at zero seconds, right at, right at its beginning, because uh, there's a nice beat in this song that I like uh, that starts at the beginning, so theoretically you could start it anywhere in the song and end it anywhere in the song, but the iPhone only supports 40 second ringtones, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and make this one 15 seconds, so I'm going to start it at zero seconds and end it at 15 seconds. So then once you're done configuring all that, go ahead and hit OK. And once that's done, click that file you just configured, right click it, and create another AAC version. This will take shorter because it's only going to be um, a 15 second file. So this essentially is your ringtone, this file that has a 15 second playtime. So what you're going to do now is drag that tone to the desktop and then go ahead and right click that file that's on your desktop, click rename and now this is where some people might get confused. Initially when you hit rename it's going to assume that you're going to want to rename the, the file name. So the file name will be highlighted in blue, um, but you want to change the file extension. So go ahead and click right next to the M4A or whatever it is and change it to M4R. And just click outside. You'll get this message that says if you change a file name extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Just hit yes. And as you can see, it turns into a ringtone icon. And that is your ringtone in its compatible file. So now go back to iTunes. Go to File. Add file to library. And uh, go to wherever your desktop is. And look for it. Look for your ringtone hit open and then you'll see on the left side of your iTunes you'll see a in, under your library folder you'll see ringtones click on that and it should be right here this is the ringtone I made and then you know obviously sync up your sync up your iPhone and uh, go ahead and change your ringtone and under custom should be the ringtone you created. Thanks guys, have fun and subscribe and thank you for watching my other videos.